Hi guys, so I don't know if you can tell by the background, but I am in a different space right now because Pierre and I, we just moved into our new apartment and it is so exciting, it's so beautiful. I'm just so happy to be here and also to finally have like a more uh, specific place to film and put my perfumes because you guys have no idea about the struggle of where I was storing my perfumes in um, the previous place. It was a big mess. So right now everything is organized. I have a little filming space and I'm just very, very, very happy. So I don't want to ramble on too much, but today I'm gonna to be filming my first video in the new place. And actually I want to say that this is not gonna be the permanent background. I'm actually right now facing my beautiful perfume collection, which I am gonna be filming in front of very soon. Um, it's just that I need to get like a tray that I can put all my perfumes on that I'm talking about and I need to get a chair as well. So apart from that, this is just temporary and then I will switch around to the other way because I made a nice little display for you guys. So today, that's not what the video is about. I'm finally going to get into it. I'm going to be talking about my longest lasting perfumes in my collection. So the perfumes that I wear, which ones are the longest lasting, which ones are crazy, beast mode, projecting, last super long time on my skin. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. And actually when I was looking at all of my perfumes, I was like, it's kind of sad. I don't really have that many fragrances that last an extreme amount of time on my skin. So I picked a few here and I'm gonna go through them with you guys. So yeah, let's just get into it. Some are for women, some are for men, some are unisex. As always, all fragrance is unisex, who cares? But anyways, let's just get into the video. Let's start out with a predictable one. We have Maison Francis Kirkshon, Buck Rouge 540. Now I say predictable because everybody knows. If you know perfume, you know that Baccarat Rouge 540 is one of the longest lasting, biggest projecting fragrances that has ever been made, truly. So it's not really a surprise to be including this one in the list. I put on a post on my Instagram the other day of people's thoughts about Baccarat to see if they think it's overhyped or they love it, they hate it, they think it's not worth the money. And a lot of people, there was a lot of mixed opinions. Some people thought it was really like not worth the hype at all. Some people thought it was, some people thought it wasn't. Some people thought it was just too basic, too simple. I will be honest with you guys, I barely wear Baccarat nowadays. Uh, as you can see, I wore a lot of it. Actually, I feel like some of it evaporated because I'm sure I didn't use this much. But anyways, whatever. Um, I really feel like this fragrance has become basic and don't hate on me in the comments for saying that. It is what it is. When a perfume is great and when a perfume gets a lot of online attraction, it's just natural that people are gonna go out and buy it and try it and sample it and, and whatever. And that's just what happened with Bakura. It was such a success that now it's a very popular fragrance, especially living in Dubai. I can tell you guys that I smell Bakura Every time I go out, which I don't go out very much, and every time I go to the mall, I smell Baccarat, I smell a dupe of Baccarat. So for me, it's just that typical sweet scent now that I'm like, oh, it's Baccarat. It doesn't wow me anymore. I personally don't feel wow when I wear it, which is very sad because I used to adore this fragrance. But now when I smell it, it just doesn't smell special. And a lot of people agree with me on this point. Saying that doesn't matter if you love the fragrance, if it's your signature scent, if it's the best perfume ever on your skin by all means keep wearing it you shouldn't let people online influence your opinions i'm just sharing what i think and what i've heard from everyone else and i totally agree it's becoming a very mainstream type of scent i mean it's been copied like so many times so baccarat rouge it's one of my longest lasting obviously but i don't really wear it that much anymore very occasionally Mercy if I go out. Next up is one that I have never spoken about, I don't think, and it's actually one of my favorite from Amouage for women. Now this is Portrayal Woman. I think the bottle is crazy, like it's really cool. And this fragrance is a super indolic white floral scent, um, something very, very unique and something very, very peculiar. It is not your typical feminine white floral scent like a, uh, I don't know, like Amouage Honor is more like that kind of simple, white floral, nice, likable scent. Whereas Portrayal is for the woman who wants to stand out, who wants to be noticed. It has some tobacco in here. 
it has some jasmine it has a sweetness it has this very indolent kind of like dirtiness to it as well it's a very dirty jasmine scent it has a creaminess underneath it is a fantastic scent like really really fantastic but only and let me say this again let me preface it by saying only if you like your white flowers especially jasmine this is a dominant white floral scent but super super unique something super special i love to wear it in certain occasions I, it's not something that i pull for day to day and spritz on and i'm happy to go out it's something that i wear when i'm like okay i'm gonna wear portrayal i'm gonna wear this outfit and i'm gonna go here like that's a really for me it's a very specific scent because of how polarizing it is but it smells divine guys trust me this is a very unique white floral that smells amazing to me so i love it and let's get back to the point it lasts a very long time on your skin i'm not sure if it's because of the jasmine or the tobacco or the base notes but it just lasts a very very long time and I love it. Nishanae's Annie. Now I've seen a lot of people talking about this fragrance now. It's not Bakra Rouge, but it is definitely getting very, very popular, especially in the fragrance community. Nishane Annie is a beautiful vanilla scent, super cozy, very resinous, warm, a little bit spicy, very, very sweet. It has a lot of vanilla, a lot of benzoin, which is like a more resinous powdery vanilla scent it's delicious for me it's one of the best vanilla fragrances that i've tried probably in my life and it's because of the uniqueness combined with the longevity and the projection and the quality it is one of the best vanillas that you could ever buy on the market that's me claiming that right now because some vanillas they're beautiful quality but they last 30 minutes some vanillas they smell incredible but uh they don't have the same refined quality that this fragrance has this has everything to it and for me, it is one of my most longest lasting vanilla fragrances, period, and longest lasting fragrances, period. So Nishane Annie, like I said, it's a spice vanilla. It has some ginger in the top, but then it really dries down to being like this super sweet, cozy, resinous, balsamic vanilla scent. So Annie, fantastic longevity, 12 out of 10. Okay, let's go to this one that I love and I am obsessed with, and it is my new obsession my new love you guys have to know that whenever i come out with like a new fragrance like this that i'm about to share with you guys and i've never spoken about before it's not because it's sponsored i would disclaim if it was a sponsored post i just fell in love with this scent i think it is incredible and hands down one of the best montel fragrances that i've personally tried this fragrance is called oud tobacco now i know what you're thinking oud and tobacco do you want to kill everyone that steps in your perimeter no don't let this fragrance fool you and a lot of the montal and mancera fragrances especially montal in my opinion they say like oud tobacco and oud this and oud that but when you really smell them they don't really smell they're not really like middle eastern fragrances i've smelled a ton of like real oud animalic skanky oud oil and i can tell you that these are very simple fragrances when it comes to the more middle eastern type of genre of scents oud tobacco whoa this one shocked me i actually want to spray it but if i spray it on my arm that's it i have to wear this fragrance tonight this fragrance this fragrance wowed me. I went to Montal, the boutique at Dubai Mall, and I went through and I made a conscious effort because I've never really made such a huge effort to go through the whole line of Montal and Mancera. I'm not really sure why. I don't know. I just haven't. And I went through most of them and I loved one called Arabian's Tonka. It was beautiful. And I think my first favorite was Oud Tobacco this is super unique and i will tell you that right now this is unique it's special it's super very like intoxicating sort of scent really really intoxicating to me it kind of almost has that kind of spiced i know i'm very much into these sort of fragrances that like gris chanel type of vibe from bdk they don't smell the same they don't smell the same at all but i'm really into that kind of creamy woody spice type of scent this has i believe some cumin in which i usually hate the smell of cumin like i like it in food but not in my perfume but somehow it works 
it has oud, tobacco, it's very creamy and woody. I spray this on and I can smell it like three days later. The scent is just beautiful. And if you like those type of scents that I just said, it has some oud, tobacco, it's very creamy, woody, sandalwood, spice. Very, very unique, like super, super unique. And I'm just in love with it. It's definitely one of my favorite discoveries recently and one that I cannot stop wearing. I have got a few more Montals. I got Honey Oud and Intense Cafe, but this one was the one that really wowed me because it's so unique and so long lasting. So Oud Tobacco from Montal. Not a big fan of the bottles, obviously, but the scent is beautiful. Next up, you guys know it's quickly going to mention it, roll out the recommendations right now. Oud Bouquet. We know it. There are so many dupes. There are so many fragrances that smell like similar. Intense Cafe, Lancome Oud Bouquet. They both last a very long time. I would say Oud Bouquet on my skin lasts longer. It's an intense, syrupy, sweet, rose, oud, praline, vanilla... Uh, smoky, just delicious rose and oud combination. This fragrance, it's just incredible. I just love it. I still love it. I still wear it from time to time, even though I'm not as into these type of scents because I find them to be not as unique anymore. Again, we're talking about the same sort of fragrance as Intense Cafe, which they're everywhere, especially in Dubai. They're everywhere. So I'm kind of sick of them, but I cannot um deny that Lancome Oud Bouquet is one of the longest lasting perfumes I've ever owned and ever worn and it's just fantastic okay so next one is a new one to my collection and one of my loves like loves this is Ivory Root from Zerzhov I am just wow like I am just blown away by this scent I'm blown away by Zerzhov I have a few Zerzhovs on the way to me right now I am in love with this house. I think it is my new, one of my new favorite houses, Zerzhov, which I know is a little bit strange for me to be saying because Zerzhov, it's pretty well known in the niche community, online fragrance community, blah, blah, blah. But for me, I always tried them. I always really liked them, but I had samples. So I just was like, yeah, I love them. But then when I actually went back and re-smelled things and I was like, I really need to invest in this brand because it's incredible. Um, I'm very, very happy that I did because wow, Zerzhov is... Anyways, Ivory Root, it's a super delicious, it almost gives you like a Coromandel vibe from Chanel, but better and more modern, not as vintage, doesn't have that Chanel DNA. But if you like that type of fragrance, you're going to love this one. It's like this spiced, vanilla, woody, sweet, but not too sweet delicious super refined and classy scent um it's just incredible guys like it's incredible i'm obsessed like i said with zerzhov with ivory root with bouquet deal with far with amber star i'm just obsessed with all of them so i'm just in love <laughs> and for me ivory root it lasts on me for like two days it's not as loud and projecting as something like oud bouquet and a few others that i'm going to talk about but it does last a very long time on your skin so ivory root from zerzhov 100 a long lasting scent let's just go through this one oud for greatness it's again a little bit like bakra i would say it's a little like bakra you spray yourself like two to three times and you're sp you're smelling all night long till the sun comes up it's crazy longevity where it can almost become annoying. Like I wore this actually the other night and I woke up smelling it. I woke up and it was in my hair and almost made me feel a little bit sick to be honest. Like I had a nice night out, but I was smelling it all night or smelling it when I came home, when I went to bed. So honestly it made me feel a little bit sick, but it is one of the longest lasting, same as Baccarat, longest lasting, biggest projecting type of fragrances. I would say out of the two, I much prefer Oud for Greyness because it's much more unique, more mysterious, it has more complexity to it. It is a delicious, uh, smoky, incensey, woody, um, oud, slightly sweet scent. Very slightly sweet, not very, very sweet. The word that I would use to describe this in one word, if I can only choose one, is intoxicating. That is it. It is intoxicating. You can't compete with the the level of oud for greatness, but it is fantastic. And like I said, it lasts forever, but you do really have to like your more intense oud smoky scents i would say it's more masculine than feminine but if you're a girl and you're like me who likes to wear anything and everything 
Root for greatness. And finally, we have one from Royal Crown. And do you guys remember this fragrance? Because I included it in like my most intoxicating fragrances right now. Sultan. Wow, wow, wow. Actually, I've seen uh, a few people talking about this one at the moment. It is delicious. It is delicious. It was one of my favorite discoveries. And it still is right now, guys. It still is one of my favorite discoveries. It is a super woody uh deep mysterious gourmand but not being a typical gourmand so it's not like a vanilla playful sort of scent it's very dark it's very mysterious it's very unisex very complex woody slightly smoky sweet uh resinous balsamic inky it's super dark and and just divine and i'm in love with this scent it lasts a very long time on my skin I wouldn't say that it has the projection of Baccarat and Oud for Greatness, but it lasts on your skin. So Sultan from Royal Crown on my skin, it lasts a very long time. Like if I spray it here, I smell it like one day later, it's still there. So very good fragrance. Love, love, love. I have to drop in my own fragrance because it was something that came into play like so much when I was creating a fragrance is that my fragrance has to be long lasting. It cannot be this type of fragrance that you spray on and 30 seconds later it's gone. I would be ashamed of myself to create something like that. I told Simrise, which is the lab that I'm working with, I told the perfumer I'm working with, my fragrance has to be long lasting. That is one of the main factors of it. One of the most important things about my fragrance is that it lasts a long time. I want people to get their money's worth. So with that being said, my fragrance lasts a very long time. I haven't really described how it smells yet to you guys. My launch video, I'm actually meeting uh, with the photographer to shoot next week and the videographer. We had a meeting last week to do the launch video and launch photo shoot, which I'm so excited about. So stay tuned. I'm going to launch it on my YouTube and Instagram. But like I said, guys, my fragrance lasts a very long time. It's unisex 100% for men and women. It is more of like a, if I can, I will give you guys a hint, the code name for my fragrance, like on the label, they uh, summarize when they create fragrances, any lab, they give the fragrance a code name. And this one is called Cafe Bourbon. So Cafe Bourbon. And it's just divine. I'm obsessed with it. And if you spray it on your clothes, like this, if you spray it on your clothes, that's it. You're done. You, you smell it on your clothes weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks. If you don't wash your clothes, you're wearing my fragrance. You're going to smell it on your clothes for weeks, which I'm very proud about because it lasts forever on your clothes. It clings to it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. It's crazy. So yeah. My fragrance, very long lasting, launching very soon. Stay tuned. It will be around like Christmas time. Just before Christmas, I'm going to do a pre-order. So yeah. Thank you guys. I think that that's it. I will launch more information about my perfume very, very soon. Like I said, after I've done my launch video, everything will be revealed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of my most uh, longest lasting fragrances within my collection. I hope it was helpful. I hope you liked it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.